Hello there, and welcome back to another Trailmakers video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can do the zero drag glitch in Trailmakers. It will allow you to turn of any vehicle, any flying vehicle. It works with any vehicle, water, air, land. It allows you to remove all drag, which means you can make it go from really low speed to really high speed, because all the drag has been removed. I'm going to be demonstrating this with this little jet I made a while ago. So I'm going to show you the speed it goes before the zero drag glitch. Which... Let's increase, let's accelerate. About 160. So to keep that in mind, this thing can go for... This thing goes about 160, 170. Which is decent. It's a decent dogfighting plane. But, with the zero drag glitch, this thing will be able to go supersonic. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. Now what you're going to want to do is open the build mode, go over to mechanic. From here you're going to want to select the detachable block, place it somewhere on your vehicle. Now in this you're going to want to have aerodynamics on, don't need forces. So you can see all points of aerodynamic on your vehicle. What you're going to want to do is make sure that every single place where there's aerodynamics is covered up by something which is attached to a detachable block. Make sure every single detachable block you use has a setting where it is made scrap. So you can build out pretty much anything. You just need to make sure that there aren't any arrows on it which haven't been covered up by a block which is connected to the detachable block. So as you can see here, all of these are covered by blocks which are attached to a block. And you're going to want to connect the detachable block to the distance sensor. Or something which will activate as soon as your creation is spawned in. So that will happen. So what that does is all of the blocks which have something attached to the attached block in front of it, it initially calculates its drag through what is in the build mode, and once it removes it, it, it doesn't go with what's beneath, but because it's been removed, it no longer goes with that, so it's in like this in-between state where it doesn't have any drag, which is how it it has zero drag. Zero drag glitch. So you just want to build out, make sure nothing is actually attached directly to the vehicle other than through detachable blocks. Like that. I'll do the same on the other side. step back, have a look. Doesn't look like anything has any arrows that aren't red from something connected to the block. It's all make scrap. And make sure the the distance sensor goes into all of the detachable blocks you've placed. Otherwise you're gonna have you're gonna still have some blocks left on. Okay, that looks okay. So once you spawn it in, you notice nothing really has changed. The vehicle has retained its previous shape. However, if you take off, let's give it a second, you'll notice that it accelerates a lot quicker. And it's immediately decimated its previous top speed. And if you retain it long enough in a single direction, and make sure you don't hit the uh, map, the map, the Make sure you don't hit the world border, otherwise it'll respawn you. Which can happen really easily when you're going really fast. If you do subtle adjustments, it'll make sure you don't lose your speed. Supersonic! Got that satisfying cone. Look at how fast we're able to go. This could make very interest this could be this could make for a very interesting dogfight. Or 
If you want to buzz the tower of someone on the aircraft carrier, you can always do that. Something which is relatively annoying, if you pull up really hard, you lose all of your speed. Which isn't too bad, because you can gain it back really quick. But it just means you can't do really hard maneuvers. And that's about it. I'm gonna fly back to the aircraft carrier, which won't take long at all. And oh gosh. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to do all the YouTube stuff, so leave a like. Maybe consider subscribing. It's always an option. And leave a comment of whatever stuff you want to see me do in this game next. If you see me showcase a glitch or build something, recreate something from the movie, whatever. As long as it's possible to do within the game, suggest it. I need video ideas anyway, and whatever suggestion you make, your, uh, your comment will appear in the video. It'll be like a shout out. Now, see you guys in the next one. Good. Bye.